Another senseless crime. A 15-year-old high school student killed in Northwest Baltimore tonight. The intense search for his killer. Hello, everybody. I'm Nikki Zizaza. And I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and right here on WJZ. Now, family members describe this latest victim as a gentle giant. Tonight, we're learning he was a ninth grader at Forest Park High. WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters downtown. And Abby Joy Burnett tells us his family wants answers tonight from the police department and also the city school system. Abby Joy. Hi, Rick and Nikki. Well, the shooting happened Wednesday night, and family members told us that all throughout the night last night, they received no official confirmation that their loved one, a 15 year old, had been shot and killed. They said they found out from people who were on the scene. That boy lives with me, and it's my heart. Someone should have called us. Family members have identified Laron Henderson, a Forest Park ninth grader, as one of Baltimore's latest murder victims. Just hours after school let out Wednesday, police say the 15 year old was shot multiple times in an alley near Liberty Heights and El Dorado Avenue, about two blocks from the school building. This man explained how Laron's mom found out. What was the first call that you got yesterday? His mother, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that someone was shot. She didn't even know. She just knew someone was shot and was concerned about who child it was, yep. whether it was hers or not. Someone's someone child was shot. Was shot. That's all right. she knew, mm -hmm. and she was panicked. The family said they frantically searched hospitals Wednesday night because the school system didn't call them. No one have a child. No one have this baby. Mm -hmm. So now he listed as a Jane Doe, and he have a Forest Park shirt on on the ground. No one. No one took the time to call this mother. Dr. Sonia Santelises met with grieving students Thursday. We asked her about the lapse in communication. It's just challenging when it's a homicide because, you know, a lot of it is police work. And so a lot of the official contact comes from them, but we absolutely, um, and I spoke with the family and assured them that we will close any loops that they feel um, were left open. Laurent is now one of Baltimore's youngest murder victims this year. We are committed to making sure we do everything we can to keep young people safe. We need to change people's minds about, number one, why they think they should have a gun. We should change people's minds, which will take the community's help. You need to have a talk with your children. Dying, shooting, and killing, this is not normal. And we are learning that a letter was sent home to parents this evening because the shooting happened yesterday after school hours. And in that letter, parents are being told that counseling and other support services will be available. Back here at City Police Headquarters, officials have announced no arrests. Live at 5, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.